I'd like to talk a little bit about the 800 and why this time in particular is so vital for those 800 paratroopers and their families and their descendants. These 800 paratroopers or so in our unit and that deployment in Afghanistan, they come from all walks of life. They're men, they're women, they're from all ethnic and racial backgrounds, socioeconomic backgrounds. You can imagine people who were, were born to wealthy families and others middle class and others others to poor families. Some have uh, master's and bachelor's degrees and others have uh, high school diplomas and, and GEDs. They spent 15 months in combat during that deployment. These were in locations where every one of our outposts was under fire, every single one of them, some more than others. And, but they were all under fire. They weren't in the, the massive bases where uh, they're perfectly safe. They're remote outposts. They're pooping in barrels and peeing in tubes for 15 months and, and under fire during that time. Some of course have multiple deployments and many of them are, or most of them are ages about age 35 to 45. So that's the median range of ages of, uh, of our 800. Some are still in the military, but most have gotten out. Most of them are married and have kids. A lot of them are divorced. And part of the reason for that is you, you don't go into a situation like that and stay there for 15 months without being affected by that. I've got post-traumatic stress. And I would imagine that everybody has got some form of post-traumatic stress after a period of time like that. And they are entering the most dangerous period of their lives. And I'm going to describe why that is. Happiness, according to a number of studies, happens on the U curve. So... If this is happiness, so the y-axis is happiness and the x-axis is age, and you have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Happiness, according to a lot number of studies, happens on a U. And let me just adjust the 60 a little bit out there. Okay. So it happens in a, in a U and the bottom of the U is your mid forties. So most of the, our paratroopers went into combat in 2007, right about here. They're in their twenties. They are probably at the happiest times of their lives. And they are in a situation where they have this acute sense of belonging. They are in harm's way. They are with a group of people that they know, that they love, that they trust. And they are, they have this acute and deep sense of belonging. After that deployment or after serving in the military, they leave the military. And they come to find that they don't have that sense of belonging anymore. You have this feeling that you are alone in a crowded place. You don't feel that sense of community. You don't feel that you are in a community in which you belong and you've got your, they've got your back. Folks around you just don't understand what you've been through and what you've done. And you start to believe that the most significant and best time of your life is in the rear view mirror. And as you, know, you can't go forward when you are fixated on the rear view mirror. This is part of the reason why 
in Afghanistan and Iraq combined, there are about 7,500 service members who were killed. Among the post 9-11 veterans, over 30,000 of them have died by suicide. Four times the number have died by suicide than were killed in combat. And as you look at this happiness curve, where people are right now between their mid thirties and their mid forties, they're in a danger zone. And what I wanna do with this foundation, what I wanna do with the Sabre Six Foundation is to let people know that, uh, yeah, we all know and love each other because we were a part of the same unit, but you, all, you still belong to this community. You still belong to a community that's got your backs and not only has got your backs, but we've got the financial resources to help you achieve your dreams. Because I want our 800 and their families and their descendants not to have to look in the rear view mirror, not to fixate on the rear view mirror, but to look through the windshield. And when you're looking through the windshield is when you can go forward, when you are able to create your dreams and to know that somebody's got your back to help you achieve them. And that is what the Sabre Six Foundation is all about. I look at this as vital for our, our 800 and their families and descendants. And there are a number of ways that, uh, that you can support this endeavor. First of all, I put the website in the uh, in the chat, HTTPS on a ride.us. You can go there. A gift of any size, of course, uh, that brings you joy. If this kind of cause of supporting this kind of cause brings you joy, then, you know, a gift of, of any size would be awesome. If you think this kind of cause would bring others joy, then please share it. And I really appreciate your support in helping us, helping us support our 800 folks.